Well, this is BSJ, and this video is going to be a guide on how to properly manage the carrier as a carry player. A lot of times, people be like, BSJ, what's the difference like when you buy treads and when you buy a Kila? If you're a Slark, why, which one do you go first? Why? A lot of the times, this goes along with slot management is as a carry player, one of the most important things that people do wrong is the concept of courier management. I know that sounds really weird, but it's something that boggles my mind how poorly people utilize it and how poorly they do it in general. So what I mean by courier management is that a watch-up carry player have 2700 gold in their stash and then suddenly buy a Yasha. They could have had it 700 gold earlier. So this goes along with slot management and courier management. Like these two things kind of tie together. So courier management wise, the first ground rule I can lay down that's just, this is just law 99% of the time. There's exceptions to every rule, but this is just law. As a carry player, in the early stages of the game, you are the second highest priority to have the courier. Mid lane is the highest priority. So it's a really good idea for yourself that if you are thinking of using the courier for whatever reason, check and see what the mid lane situation is. Obviously at low levels that mid lane or may be retarded, but that's okay. My point is, if you need an item early on, say you need an extra salve, you need like something from the base, like you'll never be able to reach the side shop because they have a dark seer, and you need boots or something, and you want to fly yourself then with the courier, and you look at your mid player and he has 600 gold and no bottle. If you do that, if you do where you use the courier with the courier mid laner having 600 gold and no bottle, you are messing up his lane so incredibly much by using that courier that it's a big deal. So if you'll notice when I play, I check and see what my mid laner status is. I see, do they need boots? Did they get an item recently? Am I able to use the courier? Like in my actual competitive matches, I literally ask my mid laner every time, can I use courier? Do you need it? So that's something where I understand there's not going to be a lot of communication in pubs, because if you're messing up other lanes or messing, making other people's jobs harder, you're technically doing your job wrong. Like, I'd say you're spoiling yourself. If you're really allowing yourself to use the courier four times in like the first seven minutes, in an actual competitive game, that's not gonna happen, period. They're literally the decision making for a lot of times for me on a hero like Slark between like Aquila and Treads is the difference between Aquila and Treads is that Aquila requires the courier. I'll literally be like, I have 700 gold and I'll look and see if that courier is available. And if the courier is available, I'll buy my Wraith Band and Ring of Protection and fly it out to me. And then I'll, you know, wait for the 325 gold for the Sage's Mask. If the courier is not available, and I know I'm not going to be able to use it for another minute and a half, then that's 800 gold, 700 gold that's just lingering that I'm not using as a carry, effectively making me 700 gold or about, you know, 17 CS poorer. Like, I might as well have missing 17 CS until I get an item with that 700 gold, right? If I'm not going to get the courier for a while, then I'll just buy treads. Do I need a clarity? Like, man, I'm having a lot of mana problems. Like, is something going wrong? Fly yourself a clarity. Fly yourself some regen. This is all courier management and slot management. These are very basic things that I promise you, I've watched hinder so many players in my coaching sessions, in my pubs, because they simply sit on a ton of gold. They, like, say them flying themselves a Yasha on an Agi carry, and they're sitting on 50 mana, and all they're doing is farming. And they had 50 extra gold. Fly yourself a damn clarity, man. Instead, then they like, I'll watch them go back to base. I'll watch them go back to base because they're full health and missing mana. And they could have just flown themselves a Yasha and a clarity. It's like, do I want you to be carry in the safe lane? Literally flying yourself clarities. No, like, that's not what I'm talking about. But if you're flying yourself something else already, buy a clarity. Buy tangos. Are you low on health? Like, don't be afraid to buy yourself some regen. Your job as a carry is to farm, amongst other things. But if you're not farming, if you're not doing anything as a carry, and you're just falling behind. That's all you're doing. You're just falling behind. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope after this video you no longer screw over your mid laner with that courier usage.